Regardless of who takes home the trophy, history will be made in Antigua, as it's the first time the West Indies and Australia have played each other in the Caribbean in women's one-day internationals. Yeah, we're not coming in to this series um, and taking the West Indies lightly. We're expecting a really tough battle and uh, I'm sure that'll start tomorrow. The two sides recently had starkly contrasting fortunes in England, where the Australian juggernaut continued to roll on, whereas the West Indies were repeatedly thrashed. And while big names Hayley Matthews and Stefani Taylor will face Australia, the hosts will be without several of their first choice 11. It's a bit of concern, so I think it's more of us um, focusing on what we would like to do other than you know, focusing too much on the Aussies. The Aussies, meanwhile, have the opposite problem, with great depth to call on. Rachel Haynes looks set to replace the absent Nicole Bolton at the top, leaving a spot up for grabs in the middle order. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have sort of another all-rounder, I guess, um, given the makeup of the squad. But, uh, you, know, you know, those players uh, can be genuine bats at times. Nicola Carey, Heather Graham, uh, you know, Jess Jonathan, they, they can all bat extremely well and, and would fit into our middle order really well. So we're not too worried about that. We, we think it's a great opportunity for them to come in and play some good cricket, but at the same time, it's important our top order still do the job, which, which doesn't change too much. The first one day international in the series will be played at Coolidge, followed by a second and third at Sir Vivian Richards Stadium, before the tour moves to Barbados for three T20 internationals. To watch every game live, Fans in Australia can do so by heading to cricket.com.au and the CA Live app.